come in to watch this story. It is about a friendship that dates back more than a decade, but life didn't always allow Joe Green and Bruce Hoffman to keep in touch. As 31's Matt Malloy tells us tonight, the two believe fate brought them back together one last time. Inside Hillhaven Nursing Home, it's hard to find better friends than Joe Green and Bruce Hoffman. Big time jokers. He's, he's bigger than I am, though. Yeah? Yeah. The two met some 12 years ago and bonded over sports. I love the Yankees. He hated them. Their other bond? Laughter. A lot of it. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> you got me wrong now. Just had to look at him on the left. You should have seen us at restaurants. We had a great time. Those great times would fade as the two lost touch. Five years went by. Recently, Bruce and Joe both ended up at Hill Haven, but neither knew the other was there. Respiratory therapist Kim Cowley made the connection. He said, Bruce! Bruce is my best friend. How do you know Bruce? Bruce was just a few doors down from his old friend Joe. He races down the hall, and when they got together, they were crying, and they were happy, and they had lots of stories. All of a sudden, bingo. There he was. What was he doing there? A week before? He was there about a week, and I didn't even know it. I couldn't believe it. And then he fell down. The two believe fate brought them back together one more time, Joe is in the late stages of pancreatic cancer. Means quite a bit. It makes, it makes the day go by better. See, he's starting to cry already. I feel a lot better, especially under these conditions that I'm in. Joe makes me happier. Happy to be back together and thankful to a higher power. The man upstairs. He's a good guy. In Webster, Matt Malloy, 13 Wham News. I have much more to add to that. That wasn't the only reunion.